Hello everyone, Rocky here with a cool new video on fast web UX series. In this video, I'll be talking about auditing a website. I'll be covering a basic exercise on Google Chrome's network tools, so I recommend you to open up Chrome. The first step in optimizing a website for better performance is to identify the areas in which you can improve it. This needs a critical understanding of the website's performance and analysis of the same. To start off, we need to know the number of requests made on a single page, the amount of data that the page has, and finally the time it takes to load the page. The best place to start off the required analysis is Google Chrome's network tools. I'll take you through the process that needs to be followed to profile a particular website properly. Open up developer tools by hitting F12 on the Chrome browser. Visit any website of your choice to audit it. There is a record button in the network tab and this needs to be enabled to generate a waterfall chart of assets. In addition, the disable cache checkbox should be selected. This removes any kind of caching that can happen when you refresh or reload the page to calculate the time it takes to load it. This is done because when a user visits a website for the first time, there are exactly zero assets that are cached from the site. That means all the assets need to be downloaded. When a user visits a website the second time, few of these assets are already in the user's computer due to which only partial loading of assets is needed. To test the first time performance, we need to receive zero assets from the cache. And this is done by checking the box mentioned before. First impressions are very important, hence we make sure that the first time visit is done properly. In addition to this, there is a throttling option available using which you can change the kind of internet connection you would want to test it on. There are many presets like offline, GPRS, regular 2G, good 2G, regular 3G, etc. As an example, I ran a test on Reddit website and these are the results that I got. It took more than 6 seconds for the whole content to load onto my computer. The website loaded in a different form than it does usually because the responsiveness has been enabled here. This is one important thing to note down. When the website is responsive, different screen widths result in different speeds due to the media queries done from the CSS files. Media queries are basic code snippets written in CSS files to include a block of CSS code only if a certain condition is true. An example would be a code that says the background color should be black if the screen width is lower than 600 pixels. Different devices vary in ter terms of size and also the display density. Display densities are low for some smartphones while for iPhones they are higher. The ones with lower display densities don't require high resolution images. But those which have higher display densities need high resolution images which increases the speed of loading of the page. This means that page loading depends not only on the internet connection but also the type of device the page is being loaded onto. So you can now go ahead and test this with a few websites to learn more. Make sure that the recording button is turned on and the disabled cache option is checked. That's all for this video everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Rocky DeRays signing off. Subscribe and share. Bye bye.